Hey Rabbits, it's Trixie and today I want to talk about failure and failing. Obviously a topic that I don't know much about, but I did a lot of research. You don't know much about failing? Isn't this your YouTube channel? <coughs> anyway, today I want to talk about some funny German words describing the activity of failing or a fail itself. Given the fact that there are so many hilarious terms to describe failing and failures, it seems a bit that Germans don't really want to call it that. Let's just find a funny name for it, then it doesn't sound so severe and no one will notice that we totally messed up. Ready for this adventure, this journey into the German language and for this episode? Then here we go. Of course, before I start with the freaky stuff, there are some normal terms to describe failure and ill success. You can, for example, call a fail Misserfolg, Niederlage or Fehlversuch, an ill success, a loss or a failed attempt. Or what about die Pleite or der Flop, same as in English. And here it basically starts already. It sounds much nicer to say, oh, der Flop, instead of, oh, der Misserfolg. It's all about perspective. No one's gonna be angry if you say, oops, ein Flop, instead of, oh nein, das war eine bittere Niederlage. Now let's talk about the German verbs that describe to fail, to screw something up, to blow something. To blow something, huh? What something are we talking about? Not that something. A very commonly used verb for this occasion would be vermasseln. Since I myself didn't know what vermasseln really means, I looked it up and found out that die Massel is a term for undeserved luck. So it basically means something like to fail on using your luck, I would say. Another verb of this kind would be verpatzen, and you may have heard patza already, which is related. Der patza is nowadays mostly used as a slang term for a funny fail or a mistake, but it originally derives from the metal industry. That's because patzen is upper German slang for a bulky mass. Therefore, der patza was a piece of metal that was not turned into the desired shape because of a failed process. So verpatzen actually means to ruin the shape of a piece of metal. Then we have to talk about versemmeln, one of my favorites, because die Semmel is actually a word for a roll in German, you know, bread, meaning that you basically miss bread something. Next up, verhauen, with hauen meaning to beat, to hit or to punch. Jemanden verhauen, on the other hand, means to beat somebody up, so try not to confuse these two. It's mostly used when you want to express that you failed a test. Oh, ich glaube, ich habe die Mathearbeit verhauen. Oh, I believe I flunked the math test. Math. 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 Insert correct pronunciation here. Ow. Was ist denn mit dir passiert? Hat dich einer verhauen? Nein, das nicht, aber der Schönheitschirurg hat die Nasen-OP verhauen. Another one that I really like is verhunzen, related to der Hund, the dog. I found different sources explaining what the origin of this word is. One said it means something like to turn something into a dog, and the other said it's to treat something like a dog. Both don't make that much sense, but it dates back to the 18th century or even the Middle Ages. Let's continue with verpfuschen, related to der Pfusch, the butchery. Frankly, butchery sounds a bit like butchery to me, which is ironic, because verpfuschen is often used in the context of plastic surgery. Yet another word that fits here is verkorksen, related to der Kork, the cork. Supposedly it comes from winemaking. If the wine tastes like cork, something went wrong. So etwas verkorksen could be literally translated into to make wine taste like cork, which is a very fancy way of saying I screwed up. Oh, sorry, looks like I made wine taste a little bit like cork. I totally f***ed it up. Verkorksen sounds a bit funny, right? So what about vermurksen? Murksen is related to the Middle High German word murks, which means rotten, foul or harmful. Try not to confuse it with jemanden abmurksen, which means to kill somebody. Do you like cooking and being in the kitchen? Because then the next word is something for you. Versieben, literally meaning to missift something, can also be applied to say to fail. I personally love preparing awesome nice dinners for my family, but maybe that's not a hobby of yours. Maybe you're more into music. Another word that you can use to say to fail or to mess something up would be vergeigen, to misplay the violin. Ach, ich sollte Marie heute zum Gitarrenunterricht bringen? Um, das habe ich wohl vergeigt. <laughs> However, if you also thought about the squeaky sound that a violin makes when you don't play it right, it's not actually related to violence. Vergeigen actually derives from a card game called Geige. So it's a bit like poker, it's about gambling and, well, vergeigen means that you lost. 
Why would you make a random pig noise? Well, because the next word I want to talk about is versauen, to sow something. That already sounded weird to you? Then let me tell you that there's an even better version. Versaubeuteln means to sow back something. The only explanation I've found for this monstrosity of a German verb is that sow is often used as an insult in German anyway. And for some reason the same applies to the bag, der Beutel or der Sack. You can find it in insults such as der Drecksack, der Dummbeutel, der alte Sack. So pigs and bags seem to have some sort of reputation in Germany. Yet another animal-related term to say to mess up is verbocken to billy goat something. Meh. Would you please stop making animal noises? Thank you. But I like them. Meow. Let's talk about nouns and sayings now. Something to describe a failure with without saying failure would be die Bruchlandung, the crash landing. Or something very similar to that, die Bauchlandung, the belly landing. Whoever jumped into water and hit the surface with the belly first knows why this is a word to describe a failure. It hurts like crazy! Something else that you can say is der Rohrkrepierer, a barrel burst or a squib load. It's a weapon malfunction where the projectile gets stuck in the barrel. So there's so much power but the successful shot never happens. So we are basically talking about gun impotence. Pretty much, if you want to put it that way. Now the sayings. One of my favorites concerning this matter is etwas in den Sand setzen, to put something into the sand. This is actually related to writing. When the writer falls off, he lands in the sand, meaning that the writing experience wasn't that fun. But in case you don't like sand or the desert, let's move on to the ocean next. Mit etwas Schiffbruch erleiden, to suffer ship with something is another verb that you can use. I guess it's needless to explain why to suffer shipwreck is a good way to describe a failure. You had dreams, a long journey and adventures ahead of you. And then this happens. Pretty much summing up every kind of fail. And the second one that is related to water, a failure can also be called ein Schlag ins Wasser, a hit in the water. Because it's pointless to hit the water, I guess. Even if you're very mad at the water. Three more, three, three. This amount of sayings is what I still have for you, with the first of them being etwas gegen or vor die Wand fahren, literally meaning to drive something against the wall. Haven't we all been in this situation? You wanted something to work and you wanted to work it fast. Your motivation, your passion felt like a car at full speed. And then life gives you lemons. Which is actually not that bad. I mean, lemons are full of vitamins. You need them for guacamole. I mean, life could also give you shit or puke in bags. What is everyone bragging about? Off topic! Sorry. Next up, ein Satz mit X. A sentence with X. Obviously referring to the German sentence Das war wohl nix. With nichts being written like that. Nix. I guess to give it more of a I don't freaking care anymore emphasis. A saying that also has to be in this list is ein Schuss in den Ofen, a shot in the oven. There are many different theories about that one, but they all agree in one aspect. A shot, der Schuss, is often mentioned for failure in German sayings. Ein Schuss ins Leere, den Vogel abschießen. Der Schuss ging nach hinten los. It always describes something negative or pointless. Pointless as shooting your oven, I guess. I mean, how are you supposed to heat up frozen pizza if your oven is broken? Who would do that? And lastly, my favorite of all of them. Ein Griff ins Klo. A grasp into the toilet. Lately, my almost two-year-old daughter has discovered that throwing things into the toilet is a lot of fun. Socks, a pencil, a key, an onion. It always makes this funny splashy noise and she is so happy about it. So there have been quite a lot of Griffe ins Klo for me during the last days. But yeah, I guess it's self-explanatory why der Griff ins Klo is a slang word for a failure. Eigentlich wollte ich ja dieses süße Mädchen treffen, das ich im Internet kennengelernt habe. Tja, stellt sich heraus, dass Tracy eigentlich Harald heißt, 58 Jahre dick und haarig ist. Das war wohl ein Griff ins Klo.
Okay, rabbits, I really hope that you had fun with this video today, that you learned something new. I was in a pretty silly mood today, so I'm sorry for all the stupid puns. If you still like this video, please give a thumbs up, because that would make me really, really happy. Of course, you can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook, and here is a video that you should definitely check out as well. Subscribe to Don't Trust the Rabbit for more videos like this, and if you want to support my channel even more, you can also find me on Patreon. I would appreciate your help a lot. Not just saying this, I'm really, really grateful. Now I wish you all a wonderful day, without fails of course, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!